places. Hi guys, so we're back for day seven of the trial. So first up, we've got a witness and this witness will be known as witness A. So it'd be Paul Greenery, King's Counsel, who's working for the prosecution and he calls the witness to the stand. As usual with witnesses that can't be named, she will be given evidence from behind a screen. Judge Justice Goose explains to the jury that he should not hold this against the defendant. And he also says it's relatively common procedure in criminal cases. Witness A says she lived near Ashley's home at the time of the shooting. So Mr Greenery begins his questions. Paul Greenery says, at about half past midnight that night, where were you? Witness A says, I was in my house, in bed. She also says her room was at the back of the house. Paul Greenery says, were you asleep or awake? Witness A says, I was awake. Paul Greenery says, did something happen that drew your attention at about half past midnight? Witness A says, yes. Paul Greenery says, what was that? Witness A says, I heard a loud drilling noise. Paul Greenery says, something like the noise of a hand drill. And witness A says, yes. For how long did the noise last at that stage, says Paul Greenery? About two to three seconds, says witness A. Were you able to form any view about where that noise was coming from, says Paul Greenery. Witness A says yes. Paul Greenery says, what was your impression about where the noise was coming from? Witness A says, I thought it was coming from Ashley's address. Paul Greenery says, you heard a drilling sound. Did anything else happen? Witness A says, I paused my TV and I heard another drilling noise. Paul Greenery says, you were in bed. And the first time you heard the drilling noise, your television set was on. Witness A said, yes. Does it follow you were able to hear the drilling noise over the sound of your television set? Was your sound on loud, quiet or medium? Witness A says, medium. Paul Greenery says, you heard the noise for a couple of seconds. You turned your television set off or down. Witness A says off. Paul Greenery says, then you heard another drilling noise. Witness A says yes. Paul Greenery says, before the first drilling noise and the second noise starting, how much time passed? Witness A says, around five seconds. Paul Greenery says, how loud was the second drilling noise you heard? Witness A says, the same at first. Paul Greenery says, how long did it last for? Two to three seconds, says Witness A. Paul Greenery says, was that the end to it or did you see or hear anything afterwards? Witness A says, yes, I heard something afterwards. Paul Greenery says, how long after the drilling noise ended? Two seconds, says Witness A. What did you hear? asked Paul Greenery. I heard a girl scream and then I heard a scream again saying get the fuck out, says Witness A. Paul Greenery says, you heard a scream that seemed to be from a woman? Yes, says Witness A. Paul Greenery asked, how loud? Really loud, says Witness A. Paul Greenery said, did it seem to be coming from the place you described earlier or somewhere else? The place I described earlier, says Witness A. Then you heard a voice. Was it again a female voice? Asked Paul Greenery. Yes, says Witness A. Scream, get the fuck out, says Paul Greenery. Yes, says Witness A. How loud was that? Asked Paul Greenery. Really loud, says Witness A. So Paul Greenery says, 
How long after the first scream did you hear the voice scream, get the fuck out? Straight after, says witness A. Paul Greenery says, let me make sure I'm clear. We have the first drilling noise, which lasts a couple of seconds. We have five seconds, and then the second drilling noise. How long after was the first scream? I think around three seconds, says witness A. Straight after the first scream came the scream, get the fuck out, says Paul Greenery. Yes, says witness A. Did the scream of get the fuck out seem to come from the same area as the earlier noise or some different place, says Paul Greenery. The same place, says witness A. Did you hear anything else after that, says Paul Greenery. Not until the police arrived, says witness A. How did you know the police arrived, says Paul Greenery. They knocked on the door, says witness A. Paul Greenery says, did you speak to them? Yes, says witness A. Did you tell them what you had heard, says Paul Greenery. Not at that time, says witness A. But in due course, did you provide a witness statement to the police, says Paul Greenery. Yes, says witness A. You're in your bedroom at the back of your house. Was the window of your bedroom open or closed, asked Paul Greenery. Closed, says witness A. Were the curtains open or drawn, asked Paul Greenery. Open, says witness A. From your bed, you were able to hear the sounds you have told us about, asked Paul Greenery. Yes, says witness A. Did you have any difficulty hearing those words, get the fuck out, asked Paul Greenery. No, says witness A. And there are no further questions for witness A.